Thwaites Glacier in West Antarctica, which covers an area of about 192,000 square kilometers, is one of the most significant and rapidly changing glaciers on the continent. It is often known as the Doomsday Glacier. This is because the ice mass plays a crucial role in stability of the West Antarctic ice sheet. It acts as a buttress, restraining the flow of neighboring glaciers that feed into it. If the glacier were to collapse, it could trigger a significant increase in global sea levels. Now, for the first time, Researchers have mapped the ground beneath this glacier. In this episode, I tell you all about the glacier, why it is considered to be the most vulnerable glacier in Antarctica, and why the latest study will help understand how it is being affected by climate change. I am Mohana Basu, and this is Pure Science. The Thwaites Glacier is situated in the western part of the Amundsen Sea, which is a region in West Antarctica. It flows into the Pine Island Bay and the Amundsen Sea. However, over the past few decades, Thwaites Glacier has been losing ice at an alarming rate. Its melting contributes to the rise in global sea levels. Scientists have observed that the rate of ice loss from Thwaites Glacier has doubled since the 1990s. The accelerated melting of Thwaites Glacier is primarily attributed to the effects of climate change. Rising temperatures, both in the atmosphere and the ocean, are causing the glacier to melt from below and above. Warm ocean waters are eroding the glacier's base, while warmer air temperatures are leading to the increased surface melting. The Thwaites Glacier holds enough ice that, if it were to collapse entirely, could raise global sea levels by around 65 centimeters. The glacier's instability is a significant concern for scientists studying the impacts of climate change and sea level rise. Due to these factors, the glacier has been the focus of intensive scientific research. Multiple international research expeditions and collaborations have been conducted to gather data and better understand the dynamics of the glacier. A team led by researchers from British Antarctic Survey, or BAS, have now found that the geology there is less sedimentary rock underneath the glacier than expected, a finding that could affect how the ice slides and melts in the coming decades. According to the scientists, sediments allow faster flow, like sliding on mud. The new map helps the team understand where the slippery sediments are which can help better predict how the glacier will behave in future as it retreats. The distribution of sedimentary rocks beneath the Twites Glacier is included in a map of the geology of the region published in the journal Science Advances, the link to which you can find in the description box below. The findings are important because the glacier, which is the size of Great Britain, is one of the fastest changing ice ocean systems in Antarctica. The Thwaites Glacier's grounding zone, the point where it meets the seafloor, has retreated 14 kilometers since the late 1990s. Much of the ice sheet is below sea level and susceptible to rapid, irreversible ice loss. The new analysis is based on airborne surveys using aircraft equipped with radar, which can see through the ice to the rocks below, as well as sensors which can map minute variations in gravity and magnetism hundreds to thousands of meters below the ground and seabed on which the glacier rests. The researchers then use these multiple data sources to compile a 3D picture of features, including the type and extent of different rocks. According to the team, integrating airborne surveys was one of the keys to this research. Each sensor on the aircraft provided an important but incomplete part of the picture, but by bringing them all together, the team could provide the detailed map of the underlying geology. In doing so, the study effectively turns back the geological clock to examine what happened when New Zealand was ripped away from Antarctica about 100 million years ago, long before the Thwaites Glacier was formed. 
Because the base of Thwaites Glacier lies far below sea level, researchers had expected that thick sediments would have been deposited there over the subsequent millions of years. Similar analysis has been done on some other Antarctic glaciers, showing that these other systems were predominantly underlain by thick sediments. But the data now suggests that only about a fifth of the ground below the glacier is sedimentary rock. These lie in a series of basins between 80 and 200 kilometers long and about 30 kilometers wide. The rest is made up of other types of geological bodies, including granite peaks and other hard rocks. The scientists think that these sedimentary basins were once much larger, but they have been ground down to the bedrock by movement of the glacier. It's not yet clear how this new knowledge of the subglacial geology will affect estimates of ice flow and loss from the Thwaites and other glaciers. The study does show that the geological landscape has a direct control on the basal shear stress, which influences how fast ice can flow into the ocean. Members of the research team will now carry out more detailed studies of these processes. Modelers in future may also be able to use the new data to make more reliable projections of future ice loss. By showing the detailed geology and how it correlates with the friction, the researchers hope that future models of glacial retreat will have more accuracy. Understanding the Thwaites Glacier is crucial for accurately predicting future sea level rise and developing effective strategies for climate change mitigation and adaptation. The research conducted on Thwaites Glacier contributes to our knowledge of the changing Antarctic environment and its potential global implications. This is Mohana Basu, Assistant Editor at The Print. If you like our work, do consider paying for a subscription to The Print. You can do so through the link in the description box below.